Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekly General Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for all people in all places, uh, this is kind of like a general overview, it's a general trend, theme and energy reading to see what's going on over the course of the week. Uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So this week when I went into my intuition, so uh, as part of these readings, uh, you know obviously I give you an intuitive message. So when I went into my intuition today, what I actually saw was um, really weird, it was like an old shoe uh, and it just started to fold in on itself and kind of, you know, coalesce and it then eventually it just turned into this like lovely sort of energy that took on a completely different form. And what I understood from that was uh, the words that I actually heard accompanying it were um, using original substance to create something new, right? So uh, uh, the saying goes, there's nothing new under the sun. It's all been done before in some way, shape or form. And in many ways, when you consider at this moment in time, there are 7 billion people on the planet. Imagine how many billions of people have come through the earth school or, you know, this wonderful earthly plane that we've been given to enjoy. So it kind of stands to reason that really there is nothing new under the sun it's all been done before in some way shape or form or time before now um, so what I got from this as well is that if you're going to this week if you're if you're creating something new if you're wanting to release something new uh, if you're bringing something back from your personal past to be done again to do again to reuse in some way shape or form um, the missing ingredient is about to make itself known. So the thing that was missing for this uh, creation of yours or this path or this avenue for you to travel, the thing that was missing from making it work then, your Edison moment, right? 999 times trying to create a light bulb, or was it 10,000 I think in the end or something like that. And he said it, it's not that all of those ways don't um, are wrong, it's just those, those are the ways that don't work. So this time, whatever it is that you tried to do previously or whatever opportunity is coming back on the table, you get a chance to try again. Only this week, the missing ingredient, the final piece, the key to the door, whatever you wanna call it, is available to you, is made known to you in some way, shape or form. I find it really interesting that this is this week begins basically just after that powerful new moon that's taking place in the sign of Cancer. So really, really interesting. So the message is the missing ingredient used with recycled substance creates success. So you will know what I'm talking about. If this is, if that message is for you, if it speaks to you in some aspect of your life, you will know on that deeper level. Yes, this is something that I'm trying to reinvent, something that I'm bringing back to the fore, something that I'm taking off the back burner, something that I'm bringing down off the shelf to, you know, dust it off and make it all shiny and new. Well, this week, not only are you able to do that, but you discover the piece of the puzzle that is going to make that shine ever more. Uh, I really like this for all of us. I think in a lot of ways, um, a lot of us are getting a second chance at something, which is great. So this week, instead of uh, just a major card, I'm going to use a human design oracle card for the destiny card or the overarching energy trend or theme. And this week we get, <laughs> yes, of course we do. We get the gate 46 and serendipity. Um, is that not just, you know, crazy in line with what I've just been talking about? Well, first of all, what is serendipity? It's discovering something, it's like a beautiful accident, you know, or a beautiful mistake. Popcorn, you know, someone dropped some dried corn into a thing. Pop. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Hey, this is actually pretty good. Um, do you see what I mean? Like this week, the destiny card basically says, take the road less traveled, 
look in the places that you haven't gone before. Um, you know, try new ways of doing old things. And more importantly, whatever the, and this is a really interesting message that's coming up, whatever the detour is this week that takes you to, you know, a different place or, oh crap, I've taken a wrong turn in and now I have to go all the way around the houses. Don't complain about it because that wrong turn, uh, you know, the, the saying goes, sometimes the wrong turn saves your life. Um, the saying also goes that sometimes the wrong turn leads you to the right destination. Sometimes the scenic route is the right one to take. It's funny that that comes up as well because what I did see was someone sitting on a train watching, you know when you're on a train like the world just kind of passes you by and you just watch and it's like, oh, this is nice, it's pleasant. Um, there's something in that this week and I think this week the, the road less travelled is going to reveal what that missing ingredient was last time and it's almost like you discover it by accident or maybe you're not looking for it and because you're on a detour you end up noticing something that feeds directly into what it is that you're trying to do, trying to create. On the wider world stage, I believe that this is going to be some good news. I love the fact that the card here shows the seven chakras aligned and the person is kind of in that space. I think in a lot of ways, this is going to be a, a week of awakening for a lot of people. Maybe not necessarily in like the big sort of spiritual new agey sense, but certainly in a way that makes people question or pay attention to what is coming up. So what is the dex, what are the direction cards? How do we best utilize this energy or what might we need to know? And this week we get the Nine of Cups, having an open heart and sitting in the energy of being content with everything that you already have, draws more of it to you. This is a wish being fulfilled, but almost by accident, almost by like sudden synchronicity or serendipity. Uh, then we've got the Emperor, right? So this is great. In a lot of ways, this suggests that we are able to take command of our lives. We're able to sit in the driver's seat more than ever. And more importantly, it's kind of like, I feel like a lot of us have been in this space where we've had good things or we've got good things around us, but it's like we can't use them. Or one of the examples that I like to give with my clients, it's like having your nose pressed against the glass of where you want to be. It's like, I can see all the stuff that I want and all the things that I want to do, but I just can't get into that room or that castle that seems to be holding it well this week we get inside this week we be you know we're able to to really tap into that and then we've got the two of cups this week any and all connections partnerships collaborations are highly highly favored especially things that you've been working on for some time so if you've been working on a negotiation if you've been working on a partnership if you're wanting to get married this looks like a great week for engagements for those of you that are hoping to uh, you know, propose to a partner. This looks like a fantastic week to do so. It really does. Uh, you know, this is heartwarming energy, but it's heartwarming energy that has direction and force behind it. This is the key to the door. This is the key to the castle. This is no longer with the nose pressed up against the glass energy. This is where you get to go inside and enjoy all of those wonderful things that you've envisioned for your life from here on in. I absolutely, I'm in love with these cards. I think this is is wonderful so in terms of the practical steps with the nine of cups this is about paying attention to your healing this week you might uh, have a conversation so if you've been going through a challenge on a health level this week you might uh, have um, maybe the person in the queue in front of you is talking about oh yeah you know and this person had this and it turned out to be this and they had to do this or they had to take this medication and now they're really better you might hear something very much you know maybe you're not paying attention maybe you're flicking through the channels and you hear something and you're like holy crap those are the symptoms that i have this week you could get to the bottom of that or you could at least have some sort of insight that shows you how to heal yourself how to heal your life in some regard Practical steps with the Emperor card. Well, basically this is about commanding it and it's about action. Remember the Emperor is all about action, but 
The difference between the Emperor and a soldier is a soldier will just do as they're told. The Emperor is strategic. He's been the soldier, he's been the sergeant, he's been the general, and now he's the Emperor. This is about knowing when to act. So when the position, when the position or the opportunity presents itself, or the serendipity provides the right conditions, you have to be ready to act in the right way. And then with the Two of Cups, quite frankly, whatever it is that comes up this week, you don't have to do it alone. There is support, there is connection. If you don't have people in your immediate vicinity, start reaching out to them. For those of you that are looking for love and partnerships, this could be a wonderful week for that. And like I said, for those of you that are hoping to propose to a partner or to have a partner propose to you, this looks like as good a week as any, um, I definitely have to say. And then finally, for our insight cards, what might be going on behind the scenes? What might we need to be aware of? What could be coming up for us in some regard? And this week we have... All right. <laughs> We've got the lover's card. Yes, of course we do. So this is a great week for relationships uh, because we've got this serendipity card here as well. Um, for some of you, this might be a secret crush is revealed to you. It may be that you stumble upon a conversation where somebody's saying, you know, actually I really like this person, or maybe you get caught saying that about somebody and before you know it, they're like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm happy to go for coffee and see where it goes. Uh, very possible. This also suggests this week as well, choices and options that were maybe not necessarily off the table, but choices and options that didn't appear to be open to you before, now suddenly become open, now suddenly become viable and possible. Uh, then we've got the King of Swords. So a Gemini person may very well feature for all of us in some way, shape or form this week. If you've got Gemini friends, check in with them, have conversations, initiate a conversation with your Gemini people. The reason I say that is because sometimes they don't know what it is that they're going to say to you, especially with the serendipity energy. So if you strike up a conversation with them and just see where it goes, they might say something to you that sparks that aha moment. So when I say to you guys in readings, like, oh, you know, you're, you have a, a talk with this sign person, check in with people that you know ha that have that placement. They might not necessarily have anything to say with to you, but by initiating conversation, it will go to where it's supposed to go, right? And then we've got the Four of Swords. So the first thing is, with the King of Swords, this is always about work and the profession. Your work may be slower this week for all of us in some way, shape or form. There might be a little bit of a lull. Um, enjoy that while it lasts, is what I'm going to say on that front, because I kind of feel like this is one of those weeks where the universe is like, have a rest, because next week I'm going to smash you all again. <laughs> maybe not necessarily smash, that's like, please don't. Um, you know, maybe not necessarily that, but with the Four of Swords in the mix, this is, it's a card of rest, it's a card of recuperation, it's a card of stillness and observation. So this week, be present not only in your physical body, but in your mind as well. You know, allow that slow and still steady energy to come through. Um, and more importantly, whatever this week feels like a detour or a setback or, you know, any of that kind of stuff, it really isn't. It's taking you down a path to reveal something to you that you actually really need. This missing ingredient is likely to be found through the serendipity this week, so pay attention. Let me know. Did you love the uh, Human Design Oracle card as the Destiny card instead of a major card? I liked it. I think it was uh, nice to switch it up. There's a lot of changes going on with Radiant Reality at the moment, and I can't wait to reveal them all to you. With that said, I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.